Hey everyone, Chris here and welcome back to the long drive. So today we're on the lookout for the Jeep. I thought I saw it last time when we got that invisible car. I thought it was a glitch or something, but apparently it just replaces the model of that car and kind of swaps out parts. So that's why we had that invisible cop chasing us. Also did go ahead and keep the vehicle deterioration mod. Seems like a nice little bonus that just makes stuff a little bit more difficult. And you know what? Speaking of, I should probably, you know, Clean that back tire because I think that thing is just about ready to blow. And this car with the red electric motor is not driving well whatsoever. So let's do a little bit of cleaning here. Yeah, that's going to look a lot better like that and should hopefully help with driving just a little bit. Gosh, I always miss the button there. Come on. Number three. Come on. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, there we go. Jeez. Uh, I think the other ones aren't too bad. That one's looking pretty good there. Uh, this one actually, yeah, this could use a little bit of work. It's going to put a little bit of spray on that. Yeah, because this engine is just way too quick. And we're kind of sliding all over the place and crashing every two seconds. I mean, this thing still has pretty insane acceleration. It's actually not too bad. It was way worse earlier. I was kind of drifting every single time I clicked left or right. Yeah, this is already a million times better. Okay, let's keep driving for a bit and hopefully get lucky and find the Jeep body. I do have some gas and other supplies in the trunk from last time, so we should be ready. Uh, I definitely need more cleaning supplies, though. All right, first stop of the day wasn't actually all that far. Can I stop in time? Yes, I can. That'd be kind of cool if we had, like, regenerative braking, but not too much point since we don't have batteries. Ooh, batteries would be interesting. All right, let's take care of this guy before it wrecks our car and maybe our cat and dog. Anything good here that I want to take? Dang, that guy kept talking for quite a while. Alright, got tons of alcohol there, don't need that. And just lots of braids. Okay, we did find a sponge, so we could do a little bit more cleaning. Uh, fuel tank has oil. And then some gas back here. I did see this other turbo, we'll go ahead and take that. I think that's our second turbo back here. Not that we really even need it. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a quick cleaning. Uh, maybe just some of the body panels should be fine. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. Uh, need a little bit more on the doors, but... Should be good for now. I was kind of more so worried about the tires. Hey, look, another invisible car. Hold on, let's catch up to them. I wonder, hold on, <laughs> I really hope it doesn't go all that fast. Get back here. I want to see if I could take parts off or is it, is it just actually invisible? You know? Hold on, let's go ahead and uh, slow down a little bit over here. Come on, pull over. Pull over. Hey, oh, oh, don't pit maneuver me. <laughs> oh gosh, he... Dang, he totally wrecked us. Jeez. <laughs> Why am I still bouncing? Okay, okay. Yeah, he's gonna completely despawn. Yep, he's gone. Okay. That was kind of worth a shot. I wanted to see if I could steal some parts and maybe make an invisible car. That'd be pretty dang funny. Really? <laughs> the cop just had to rear end me there. Okay. Hey, but you know what? I think I could totally get away from him. We have the electric motor, the red one, so we should be more than quick enough. Uh, it's just more so about if he calls in his buddies for backup. But I think we're good here. Oh gosh, he's actually... He's really, really quick for that type of car. Oh gosh, don't crash. Oh, that's the thing. That's that's what's going to kill me. Just controlling the red engine. Okay, a little spin out there. Oh! Oh! Oh, those were some brutal hits there. Uh, we kind of lost our trunk. I don't know what flew off. Is that his or ours? Um... Hold on. I think we hit a cactus. Oh, our gas can's over here. Okay, he definitely lost something important because I don't think he's driving anymore. He's definitely not functional right now. So we might just be able to put these back here and kind of be on our way. Jeez, that guy is absolutely reckless. Let's put that there. Is anything by that cactus? Oh, I think... Is that ours? Do I care about it? Uh, it's like the rear bumper. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get it, I guess. Why not? Okay, and we're good as new, pretty much. And hopefully he despawns. Is that a mansion over there? Did I miss a mansion? Because I feel like that's where we're going to find a Jeep, as usual. Okay, but I think we're pretty much good from the cops. Oh gosh, not the tree. Did we get damaged on a wheel? I don't think so. You know what, though? For that type of crash, I honestly expected more stuff to fall out. That really wasn't all that bad. 
We didn't lose Maxwell or Chihuahua or Jeffrey the Giraffe or anything else. All right, so it's been actually quite the number of days in game and I've had zero luck finding a Jeep. I've been to maybe four or five mansions, tons of locations and absolutely nothing. Um, I'm kind of starting to wonder if maybe it doesn't actually spawn in game. So I went ahead and downloaded a spawner because I really do want to try out the car. I think it replaces the Dacia 1300. Also, this is probably good for me just so I can learn all the names of the cars. <laughs> Uh, I just call them all cars and then I kind of know the beetle. I set the condition of random so this actually might not be in perfect condition so it makes it a little bit more legit even though I'm using the spawner. I don't know. But yeah, I really desperately wanted to try this out. Oh, that engine looks pretty cool. I don't know if we've seen that. Let's just take a good look around. Yeah, nothing too crazy honestly but man, this thing should be pretty fun maybe for some off-roading. I do like how the the front kind of opens sideways like that. Oh yeah, hold on. I should check, uh, you know, oil, coolant, all that stuff. So 3.6 liters of water. Um, where does the oil and everything else go? Oh, whoa, that's so weird. It's kind of a, a top gas tank right there. Interesting. And I'm kind of just going to assume the engine has oil. Hold on. Let, let's, uh, let's, let's try turning it on maybe. Wait, what? Why does it sound like an electric motor? What the heck's going on? What? Oh, I am so confused right now. Is that just how this motor sounds for this car? You know what? Um, I'm not really going to question it. Did it die? Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, this thing is going to be absolutely wild. I kind of wish it was a darker color. I totally could have chosen it. Uh, I kind of just set it to random. Uh, hold on, let's let's transfer everything over. Actually, this is we're gonna be riding in style. We're gonna have kind of everyone into their own seat. Hold on. Yeah, this is actually gonna be really cool. Okay, okay. Wait, <laughs> what what happened here? Um so Sally got a little a little squish there. <laughs> she became 2D. Um I think I might leave it like that. That's actually kind of funny. So uh, I guess physics is gonna be a little bit weird on the Jeep. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, stuff is extremely weird. I just put the radiator and now it's 2D2. Um, okay, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm not going to question it too much. We're just going to fill up liquids, put everything over here, and get driving and testing it out. All right, that's pretty much everything transferred over. Uh, I just still love how everything just becomes 2D if you put it on the body. I think that's generally what's happening in here. Uh, let's see how it drives, because again, that does still sound like an electric engine. So I don't know if something's kind of glitching out here, but yeah, let's just, let's just drive for a bit. How fast is this? Oh my gosh, that thing's incredibly loud. I probably have to start yelling and I'm out of control. Jeez, okay. That's so strange. <laughs> I don't know what's going up with this uh, Jeep. Do I have the handbrake? Nope. So we can go about 80, 100. That thing's so loud for the speed we're going. 110. Yeah, it seems like we're topping out at 110 here. Let's go back to third person so it's a little bit quieter. And yeah, it's very twitchy with the steering. I mean, I barely touched it there and it already spun out. Yep, I don't think any of our tires are even that bad. Yeah, they're all pretty good, actually. But, I mean, I did throw the electric motor kind of back there. I don't think it's actually working, right? Gosh. Uh, I just wanted to save that just in case. But I'm guessing it's more of a suspension thing. This thing has a lot of kind of body roll. Hold on, hold on. Let me try to straighten it out. I'm kind of back on the road now. Uh, yeah, if I just click to the left even slightly, it's just going to keep going that way indefinitely. And now kind of same thing to the right. So it seems like it really just doesn't want to drive straight for whatever reason. Again, I don't know if that's because I put a lot of stuff in the back. Kind of messed up the weight balance type stuff. But honestly, I kind of expect a little bit more from the Jeep. Well, let's go to sleep and try it out again in the morning. Oh, wait, hold on. I think it was using the electric motor. I don't know how. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Does this have oil or anything at all? Oh, wait, this is on... Wait, what? Did they get welded together? Is there an electric motor in this engine? Is this supposed to be like that? I really feel like it's not. I am... So confused right now. <laughs> I think I have the mods kind of like within each other. 
Hmm. Hold on. Let's put this in the front, maybe. There we go. So that's there. And yeah, this is definitely the kind of cyan motor with a regular combustion engine. Oh my gosh. Um, I have no idea how that happened. Okay, let's see if it starts up again. Yeah, so it seems like it was running off the red motor or maybe the other electric motor. And then I think when I put it back in right now, it kind of glitched out. I just don't know if there's a good way to detach those motors. I think they might just literally be stuck inside of each other forever. <laughs> I gotta say though, the suspension is actually doing really well on those kind of bumpy bits. Oh gosh, not the rock. It kind of floated over it almost. Yeah. Oh man, this. I think this thing would be great. I think it's just maybe too much torque from the electric motor that's kind of screwing everything up. So I'm assuming the original motor isn't all that powerful. That's probably like the perfect balance for this car. Because yeah, I think we're just accelerating way too quickly. Hold on, let's, let's try detaching those again. Is there is there even a way to do this? Hold on, big brain. How about I spawn another one? Oh, this one's cool. It has a little top. And is this the same thing? Yeah, okay, so this one's a regular motor. I guess for whatever reason, the other one spawned with both? Oh, that's so weird. Let's put that there. Get this one out. We'll still hold on to it, obviously. If I could move it properly. I like how the sponge is still just kind of on it. <laughs> Okay, yep, that's fine. And then I'm guessing this is one of those cars where I have to do the um, the fuel and oil mix because I don't see anywhere to put the oil. So let's go ahead and drop a little bit in the gas tank. I think I had some here, right? Yeah, 1.4 liter, so nothing crazy. But that there, and hopefully this works now. I'm still amazed by that one. This one would have been cool. Maybe we'll try that out later next time. Ooh, okay, now that sounds like a regular motor. And yeah, this acceleration is way slower, but I think it's going to be much more manageable for the type of car. Let's see, let's try getting up to speed here. Still kind of going to the left. I'm not clicking anything whatsoever. And we're just kind of going off the road. Oh man, I don't know if that's just naturally how this Jeep is in-game. Or it's because of all the stuff I put on. Yeah, we're kind of maxing out at 70 kilometers an hour, so nothing too crazy. Yeah, I think 110 was way too much for this car. And even then, it was probably limited by the transmission or body styles, because sometimes the cars will do that. Wait, hold on. I have a turbo. Okay, let's just give it a little bit more juice. I do see a mansion over there, so maybe we'll make that our goal. Let's see. Let's grab this. Uh, it's a little warped, but I'm sure that's fine. And yeah, a little bit quicker. We're going about 80. But yeah, it seems like this car, honestly, you don't want to go more than <laughs> maybe 60. And then it just gets a little too uncontrollable. But hey, man, we are riding in style. I kind of wish it was a darker green. That would have been a lot cooler. Or maybe a nice red. I don't know. Can't complain too much. Other than the steering. Jeez, that thing's uncontrollable. Yeah, actually, there's no cars at the mansion whatsoever. But um, I'm kind of seeing this cliff. And I want to test some stuff out again. All-terrain vehicles. So, you know. Let's get a little bit of speed here and kind of go for a jump. I probably should have saved before this. Uh, okay, not too bad. Yeah, it has a lot of travel and suspension, which I think really helped with the launch and landing. All right, getting up to speed. Try number two. Let's not spin out. Yeah, it's kind of going over everything. Pretty much no problem whatsoever. Kind of want to see. I, I highly doubt it. We're going to slam into this rock. Hold on. Oh, whoa, okay, actually, it took that way better than I thought it would. Uh, the kind of middle part got stuck of the body, but that wheel just, yeah, just goes over everything. Okay, let's try to hit the small rock over here. We're going fairly quickly. Oh, I drove kind of right over it, but not the way I wanted. Uh, let's see, there's another one over here. I kind of want the wheel to hit it. You good there, bro? Oh, gosh. Let's focus on the AI a little too much there. Because then, yeah, maybe with this Jeep, we don't really have to worry about stuff on the road. We could just kind of drive over it and not worry. I just really wish it was a little bit more controllable as far as left to right goes. Okay, this is... Ah, slightly missed it. And yeah, we're spinning out. Okay, good correction. Never mind. Come on, I gotta be able to hit this rock over here. Come on. Oh! Okay, did knock over that one. We lost a wheel. Okay, we did lose a couple pieces. Let's try one out that doesn't have anything in it yet. I just want to see if the steering's as bad. Oh, this one actually feels 
kind of quicker for whatever reason. I mean, I know we're kind of going downhill. Wasn't that affected by weight? And honestly, I'm actually having trouble turning this one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, not the rock. Did I just get a really bad one? <laughs> Is that what's going on? This one seems to be driving way better. Again, maybe just all the stuff I put in the back. Because yeah, even just tapping left, see, we kind of just keep going to the left and same thing to the right. And we're spinning out. Oh, I guess that wasn't very well attached. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it there. We'll probably switch out next time, maybe to the canopied one. I think that'd be pretty cool. Because this seems like a really fun car. It's just not driving well for me. <laughs> also, I really wish it would have actually just spawned naturally. I'm sure it probably does. It's just really, really rare like everything else in the game. So a little unfortunate I had to use a spawner, but I mean, that might prove useful. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.